What I have to share with you today is very personal to me, so I hope you enjoy it. I'm here to make a passionate appeal on behalf of the XRP ecosystem. The constant stream of news and the subsequent need for commentary has prompted this flood of new information. Welcome back to Coin Lady Channel, the best place to learn about XRP. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button and the bell to receive instant notifications of new posts and participate in all of our XRP debates as they unfold in real time. In retrospect, I can see that my expression of an opinion in yesterday's video caused waves to be felt throughout the online community. A Wells Fargo executive's prediction of $500 was the most exciting part. In particular, the comments made by Mr. Rob Cunningham. My admiration for Mr. Cunningham has not wavered in the least. My heart hurts at the thought that my statements may have been misunderstood, because I never meant to insult anyone at Wells Fargo. The future of XRP's value isn't dependent on the opinion of a single person. I've gone all around town, and I've heard a lot of predictions. But the core of my message, its beating heart, has always been to exercise caution. Avoid being swayed by short-term XRP price predictions that promise triple-digit gains. I've seen how easily people are swayed by these forecasts' lofty promises, only to miss out on opportunities that may transform their lives forever. Let me explain. I won't tell you how to proceed with cryptography. Yours to keep. Whether it's the longing for change through cryptocurrency or the desire to extract profits, I know there are individuals out there who are wanting to tuck it carefully for the future while simultaneously seeing eyes filled with remorse when XRP crossed the dollar. These are perilous times. Too many people are in over their heads hoping for outlandish profits and are unable to let go. But let me be the one to reassure you that XRP is worthwhile and that you should never sell. All of your coins. The line between hoarding everything and letting go at the right time is thin. While these numbers have altered over time from buyback committees to 10k, 35k, and even reaching the heights of 500k XRP, they continue to haunt my dreams and give me unease. We've been keeping our fingers crossed for all these years without ever reaching the $1 mark. Even if aspirations for the stars are poetic, I don't think it's unreasonable to advise keeping them realistic. Since I am committed to providing you with precision and accuracy, I put my heart and soul into producing information that is in line with the truth. Yes, every opinion has the right to be heard and considered. It is the responsibility of every participant in this dance of ideas to offer critique and deliver a well-informed rebuttal. While there are rumblings of astronomical levels for XRP, my discerning eyes don't see the stars aligning on the technical charts right now. This tango of possibilities and counter-arguments is what makes the XRP community so lively. That is not to imply that XRP won't succeed. In my opinion, nothing can stand in its way. However, this revolutionary change may still be a ways off. Perhaps it would be prudent to take some money out now. Although I have been an unflinching advocate for XRP over the past half a decade, I recognize that many of you too feel the weight of the lengthy wait for its day in the sun. I encourage you to take charge of your lives, treasure your wisdom, walk humbly, and always make educated decisions. Something that has just caught my attention and may pique yours is that the federal court overseeing the litigation against Terraform Labs has unexpectedly placed concerns on the decisions reached by the judge in the previous SEC lawsuit. Let's pretend there are two impartial judges, and one of them decides to disagree with the other. That's why it's important. Keep your ear to the ground for the time being, as it is only a whisper in the wind. What are your thoughts now that you know the truth? Please share your opinions with me in the section below. A cloud of sadness hung over the crypto world as I peered at the markets, they were down by 1.9% due to widespread discontent, and they appeared to be close to approaching that dismal 2% level. Mark, 2%, I was already feeling down when I made another video earlier today, and now the downward trend has only accelerated. Our dearly held XRP has fallen in value by the same amount as other titanic cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin and Ethereum. It's sitting thoughtfully, now, just 1.3 cents below the 70 cent level. If you look at the chart for the past week, 
you can feel the discontent of the markets as a whole. There is a sense that everything is declining at the same rate. But in terms of headlines, the XRP scene is like the stillness before the storm. Although the news of the Terraform Labs lawsuit may not be very groundbreaking, I felt an urgent need to keep you, my loyal audience, abreast of the situation. Always keep in mind that July 2023 will go down in history as a watershed month for digital assets. January, the month of enlightenment in and of itself, XRP is not a revolutionary breakthrough that has revolutionized the financial services sector. However, we must not dwell on our prior successes. The future is bright with possibilities and hopes. There have been rumblings that the BRICS countries, who are leading the charge into the digital economy, may establish their own digital currency. We can't wait for the G20 report from the FSB and IMF together. On September, the Digital Asset Act, which is up for a huge vote in Congress soon, will surely serve as a guiding light for the industry. The effects won't be localized to the United States alone. Let me tell you about certain rumors that have caught my attention. Recent articles provide insight into the pricing dynamics that will occur when utility becomes a factor, as institutions all over the world, from Japan to other international hubs, begin to harness the value of the XRP token. It's all been conjecture and expectation up to this point. But don't forget the thrill of XRP's 31,000% increase in value in 2017. The mood of the market can change in a matter of days, and this volatility and excitement can be rather thrilling. And when the mythical switch is thrown by the big banks, which type of price increase do you anticipate? Leave your comments below with your opinions. With workhorses like XRP and XLM, which have built the foundation for the digital renaissance on a global scale. Huge progress is just around the corner for us. That's why I agree with other YouTubers who say to be ready for the wave, when regulations are clear and a new bullish cycle begins, you don't want to be caught unprepared on the beach. I feel a breeze of change blowing in. When a heavyweight like the Wells Fargo Treasury executive predicts that XRP will reach a stunning dollar, it seems like the days of Gary Gensler are numbered and the beginning of a new epic is upon us. $100, 500, this is more than a rumor floating on the breeze. This rallying cry echoes our own aspirations. Is it ambitious to imagine such a leap in a little span of a few months, perhaps? But in this ever-changing economy, where the unthinkable has happened before, anything may happen. But here's where I'm most sure of myself. When practicality is the focus, then we'll see XRP's parabolic increase, which might take it to three or even four figures, until then, every dip feels like an invitation and opportunity to buy low. Every setback encourages me to fortify my position, so I've packed my bags and am ready to go. I'm aware that we can't keep charging ahead without stopping every day. Each of us is restricted by a certain amount of money, However, we are not advocating wasteful spending. It's about convincing myself that I can keep going despite these changes. It is my firm belief that you all stand with me without faltering or being daunted as we await the arrival of the XRP era. None of us can hold our breath any longer. See you all in the morning. Don't forget that I'm not a certified financial planner. These videos are intended solely for amusement purposes. Before making any major financial decisions, viewers should do their own research and speak with experts, like I do. We appreciate your listening. Give the video a like if you found it entertaining, and if you want to see more, click the subscribe button. See you later, bye.